Welcome back, subscribers. Today, we're taking a journey back in time to one of the most captivating and legendary conflicts in human history, the Trojan War. This epic tale of love, war, and tragedy has been retold countless times over the centuries and has inspired some of the greatest works of literature and art in the world. Join us as we explore the story of the Trojan War, from its mysterious origins to its bloody conclusion. We'll delve into the rich mythology and history of ancient Greece, and discover the heroes and villains who fought on both sides of the conflict. From the Trojan Prince Paris and the Greek warrior Achilles, to the brave Trojan defender Hector and the cunning Greek strategist Odysseus, we'll uncover the stories of the legendary figures who shaped this timeless epic. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be swept away by the incredible tale of the Trojan War. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest videos exploring the wonders of the ancient world. In the ancient land of Greece, there was a city so magnificent that it was said to be built by the gods themselves. This was the city of Troy, a city of great wealth and prosperity, ruled by a powerful king named Priam. The city was fortified with high walls and well-trained warriors, and it was said that no enemy could breach its defenses. But Troy's prosperity was not to last, for soon it would find itself at the center of a conflict that would shape the course of history. The origins of the Trojan War are shrouded in mystery and legend. Some say that it began when the Trojan prince Paris, son of Priam, abducted the beautiful Helen, wife of the Greek king Menelaus. Others say that it was simply a clash of civilizations, with the Greeks seeking to expand their influence and power, and the Trojans determined to defend their homeland. Whatever the cause, the war raged for ten long years, with countless battles fought and countless lives lost. The Greeks, led by the fierce warrior Achilles, laid siege to Troy, using all the weapons at their disposal, from battering rams to flaming arrows. The Trojans, for their part, fought bravely, defending their city with all the courage and cunning they could muster. The Trojan Prince Hector, eldest son of King Priam, was one of the greatest warriors on the Trojan side. He fought valiantly against the Greeks, slaying many of their best fighters, including Patroclus, the best friend of Achilles. But despite his prowess in battle, Hector was ultimately unable to save his city. Achilles, driven mad with grief and rage over the death of his friend, finally defeated Hector in a one-on-one -on -one battle and dragged his body behind his chariot around the walls of Troy in full view of the Trojans. The Trojans, however, were not without their own heroes. The Trojan archer Paris, who had started the war by stealing Helen from Menelaus, was also a skilled fighter. He had initially been reluctant to fight and had instead preferred to spend his time with Helen, whom he had fallen in love with. But as the war dragged on, Paris realized that he had to fight to defend his city and his people. The Trojans also had the support of the gods, particularly Apollo, who had a special connection to the city of Troy. Apollo favored the Trojans and often intervened in battles to help them, even going so far as to put the Greeks to sleep so that the Trojans could attack them without resistance. In the end, however, it was not the strength of the Trojan army that proved decisive, but a clever ruse devised by the Greeks. They built a wooden horse, large enough to hide a small army of soldiers, and left it outside the gates of Troy as a supposed gift. The Trojans, thinking that the Greeks had given up their siege, brought the horse into their city as a trophy. But in the dead of night, the Greek soldiers emerged from their hiding place and opened the gates of Troy to their waiting comrades. The city was sacked and burned, and the Trojans were scattered to the winds. King Priam was killed by Achilles' son, Neoptolemus, and the Queen Hecuba was taken as a slave. The Trojan hero Aeneas, however, managed to escape with his family and would later go on to found the city of Rome. And so the legend of Troy lives on, a cautionary tale of the perils of war and the consequences of pride and ambition. The story of the Trojan War continues to captivate and inspire us today, reminding us of the human cost of conflict and the importance of striving for peace. As we look back on this ancient tale, we can learn valuable lessons about the power of perseverance, the value of honor and courage, and the need to always question the motives behind our actions. So let us remember the story of Troy and strive to build a better world, one that is built not on the ashes of war, but on the foundations of peace and understanding. 
And to all our subscribers, we thank you for joining us on this journey through one of the greatest tales of all time. We hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you will continue to support our channel as we explore the fascinating stories and legends of the ancient world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest content. Thank you for watching.